Ever thought about the shape of electrons? In a groundbreaking advancement for quantum physics, scientists have achieved what was once thought impossible, measuring the shape of an electron as it moves through solid matter. This remarkable achievement, led by physicist Ricardo Comin at MIT, opens new frontiers in our understanding of quantum mechanics and material science. To appreciate the significance of this discovery, we must first understand that electrons are not merely points in space, as they're often depicted in textbooks. Instead, they exist as wave functions, complex mathematical descriptions that define their quantum properties. These wave functions can take various shapes and forms in higher dimensional spaces, some simple, and others intricately complex. The research team employed a sophisticated technique called Angle Resolved Photoemission Spectroscopy, or ARPES. This method involves directing a beam of photons at a crystal structure, causing electrons to be ejected. By measuring the angles and spins of these ejected electrons, scientists can reconstruct their behavior and shapes within the material. The team focused their investigation on a fascinating class of materials known as Kagome metals. These materials derive their name from their distinctive atomic structure, a repeating pattern of interlocking triangles that resembles the traditional Japanese Kagome basket weave. This unique arrangement creates special conditions that influence how electrons move and interact within the material. What makes this discovery particularly significant is its potential applications. Understanding and controlling electron geometry could revolutionize multiple fields of technology. For quantum computing, where maintaining stable electronic states is crucial, this knowledge could lead to more reliable quantum bits. In the realm of electronics, it might enable the development of devices with significantly reduced energy loss through heat dissipation. The research represents a triumph of international collaboration, bringing together experts from various institutions who combined theoretical knowledge with experimental expertise. Even the challenges posed by the global pandemic became opportunities, as team members adapted their roles and contributions to maintain research progress. The implications of this work extend far beyond the laboratory, Quantum geometry is fundamentally different from the classical geometry we encounter in everyday life. An electron's wave function can adopt forms that twist and loop in higher dimensions, creating patterns that until now existed only in theoretical predictions. By confirming these predictions through actual measurement, the research team has validated decades of theoretical work and opened new pathways for future exploration. Looking ahead, scientists plan to refine these measurement techniques and apply them to a broader range of materials. They're particularly interested in understanding how quantum geometry influences properties like conductivity and magnetism, characteristics that are crucial for practical applications. The ability to manipulate electron geometry could lead to new ways of controlling electron behavior, potentially enabling more efficient quantum sensors and memory devices. As we conclude, it's worth reflecting on the broader significance of this achievement. While an electron may be among the smallest particles we know of, understanding its shape and behavior could have enormous implications for the future of technology. From more efficient electronic devices to more powerful quantum computers, the applications of this discovery could shape technological development for decades to come. This research reminds us that even after decades of scientific progress, the quantum world continues to reveal new secrets. Each discovery brings us closer to not just understanding the fundamental nature of matter, but also to harnessing these properties for practical applications that could benefit society as a whole. Find a link to the article on earth.com in the description.